Lee Batchelor was born in Adelaide on the 10th of April 1865. Lee studied at the North Adelaide Model School and became a pupil teacher at the age of 12. Five years later, Lee became an apprentice engine fitter at a government plant in the suburb of Islington. Shortly after, Lee joined the Amalgamated Engineering Union, a trade union representing engineers and metal trade workers. Lee was quickly elected to the AEU's executive office and served as its president four times between 1889 and 1898. Lee also worked with other unions in the Trade and Labour Council. He served as a council treasurer in 1892 and its secretary in 1893. While working for the South Australian Unions, Lee also met and married Rosina Mooney, whom he later had six children with. Lee didn't like to stand still, so in 1891 he became one of the founding members of the United Labour Party of South Australia. And so started Lee's political career. He served as the ULP's secretary from 1892 until 1896. In 1893, he topped the polls and was elected to the South Australian House of Assembly. Four years later, the leader of the ULP, John McPherson, died and Lee took over the party. Lee was an outspoken politician and supported the private ownership of land, the establishment of a national bank and women's suffrage. In the 1899 election, the ULP supported Kingston government lost but Lee was invited to join the new Holder government as Minister of Education and Agriculture. Before taking the office as minister, Lee had to resign his leadership position within the ULP, as the Labour Party pledge of 1899 forbids its members to serve in non-Labour governments. However, Lee resigned with unanimous approval from the ULP. In 1901, the Australian Parliament was formed and Lee was elected as the only Labour member from South Australia. For the 1903 election, the states were divided into election divisions. Lee gave up his division of High Marsh, a safe Labour division, to instead run in the riskier division of Boothby. Lee won in a landslide and defended his seat well and was re-elected again in 1906 and 1910. Now in federal politics, Lee became Minister of Home Affairs in 1904 and from 1908 until his death in 1911, he was the Minister of External Affairs. When the Northern Territories was formed on January 1st, 1911, Lee quickly got involved. He fought to improve conditions for the indigenous tribes, mainly by creating reservations that ensured land to the tribes. On October 8th, 1911, Lee died from a heart attack while hiking Mount Donaburing. After his death, the bulletin wrote, it is questionable if any man in the Australian Parliament was more popular or more deserving of popularity, and in point of intellect he ranked either first or a good second among the members of the Fisher Ministry.